So in this video, we're going to go over a proof uh, of the associative property of vector addition. So remember the previous video, the claim was that the uh, that vector addition is associative, that we can group the vectors however we want and get the same result. So a formal proof of that, usually the first thing you're going to do is create the things uh, that you're going to prove something about. So in this case, to prove this, we need the vectors u, v, and w in the vector space rn. So what I would do is just start off by saying let u, v, and w be elements w with the vector symbol over it, be elements of rn, the vector space rn. So now we know we have three vectors, each of which has n components. So then what follows from that? So we, we need a transition phrase. We say it follows or uh, therefore or something or then or some transition word then, comma, and then we do the addition. Uh, we do our u plus our v. plus our w uh, with the u and v grouped equals, and then what we want to remember is that each of these is an n component vector, so I can write them like this. The u could be written in component form, u sub 1, comma, dot, 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 comma, there's u sub n elements in the vector u. I can't use, for example, this is a problem I've been seeing in some of the homeworks, is using a vector that's specific, say, to r2, a two component vector, or a a two by two matrix. You, when you're proving for a general, for the general case, you have to make an n component vector. So it's going to be u plus v, but v looks like v sub one, comma dot dot dot, through the v sub nth, the nth component, v sub n. Plus our vector w can be written in component form as w sub one, comma dot 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 comma w sub n, an n component vector. And then here I have the sum of two vectors. So we know how to add vectors. We add them component by com uh, um, component by component. So the first, first components get added, the second components get added, the nth components get added. I said that horribly. So it's going to be u sub 1 plus v sub 1. And we walk through the vector and we do component wise addition. So dot dot dot, follow this pattern all the way till you get to the nth component, add the use of it, you add the nth component u sub n plus v sub n. And this is plus the vector w sub 1 comma dot 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 comma w sub n. And now I just have the sum of two vectors again, but we know how to do that. We do component by component addition. First component gets added to first component. So we walk through and we're going to wind up with the vector. We're taking the component from here, which is u sub 1 plus v sub 1, plus we then add to it the component w sub 1. And we walk through the entire n component vector all the way through the nth component, doing component wise addition, so plus w sub n. And then we want to recognize when we have a vector that the components are just real numbers. And we already know that real number addition is associative. So if I group, uh, if I group it u sub one plus v sub one, and then add w sub one, we know that we can group the v sub one plus w sub one. Do that addition first, and then add u sub one by the associative property of real number addition. So we go ahead and say, hey, I can use the associative property of addition of real numbers to regroup this like this. And I walk through the entire vector doing it to every, uh, every component until I get to the nth component. And I do my last grouping on the nth component. So v sub n plus w sub n. And then when you, once you write it like this, you re recognize, hey, I just, this is what the sum of two vectors would look like. This is what the sum of u sub 1 comma dot 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 u sub n plus the vector v sub 1 plus w sub 1 comma dot 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 comma v sub n plus w sub n would look like. That's this here is this addition here and 
This could be broken into two pieces. This is the vector u sub 1, comma, dot, 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 comma, u sub n plus. This is what you would get right here if you added the vector v to the vector w. With them grouped together like that, and this is just u plus parentheses v plus the vector w, which is what we were trying to show. Show that this gives the same result as this does. Oh yeah, and I should say something nice here, you know, like which is what we were trying to prove, or uh, which is what we desired, or at least give it, at least give it a tombstone, so that people know you're done. <laughs>